AR not. So AR stands for aging related. This aging related proteins are located on the AR not proteins are located on the cell surface and they function uh, as terminal oxidases of the plasma membrane oxidoreductase system. The ARNOX also um, generates superoxide, and the superoxide uh, can be further, uh, and can be inhibited by a superoxide dismutase. The ARNOX being an ectoprotein, or a protein that is on the cell surface, is shed from the cell surface. The shed form of the protein appears in body fluids, such as serum, saliva, uh, perspiration, and urine, and also in uh, interstitial fluids that percolate through extracellular matrices. Uh, the uh, protein thiols uh, have been uh, demonstrated to serve as the electron donors for the shed form of the, of the AR knots. The assay for ARNOX activity uh, is by uh, spectrophotometric measurements of the rate of reduction of uh, uh, ferrocytochrome C reduc uh, reduction. And the superoxide is added at near the end of the assay to ascertain that the rate returns to baseline. Here we see buffy codes as an example of uh, cell surface forms of the activity comparing both old and young uh, individuals. Now, you see that the reduction of rate uh, in the old individual upon adding SOD is back to baseline again. We also uh, found similar results with body fluids such as the sera, the saliva, perspiration, and skin explants. For both epidermis and, and dermis of uh, uh, 16 females, ARNOX activity and subject age were positively co uh, correlated and reach a maximum around between ages 55 and 65. The line ex <coughs> extrapolates at zero to age of 30. Uh, the activity is superoxide inhibited activity and it's verified to be uh, ARNOX. ARNOX activity correlated with advanced oxidation of epidermis measured spectrophotometrically. Advanced glycation uh, end products accumulate with aging. And this uh, accumulation is measured by what's known as a diet optics age reader. For this assay, we did a light source cytosophorescent moieties in the skin tissue which then emits light of a different wavelength. In the wavelength band that is used, the major contribution of the fluorescence is coming from the fluorescent uh, ages, uh, AGEs uh, in the, their link to collagen in the skin. Linear correlation, correlations between the a, a, AGEs and ar not suggest a causal relationship. We're again looking at skin, we see that five independent uh, graders looked at close-up uh, photographs of the face of 25 okay, Caucasian women, 45 years of age. And these were taken at baseline visit and then es they estimated each subject's age. The errors in estimating age were calculated as a difference between the subject's uh, birth date and uh, the date of visit in years, uh, in visit in years. Three estimates of age were averaged and compared to the subject's actual age. Age differences and other skin assessment scores were compared to the AR NOx levels determined from serum. Oops. Sorry. Were determined from serum. Um, saliva and sweat collections. And they found that women with high aeronox activity uh, 
had skin characteristics that make them appear in, on average seven years older than their chronological age, whereas subjects on low AR Knox activity had, at the same age had on average seven years younger appearing skin than their um, actual age. A major focus at Knox Technology has been directed toward the cloning of AR Knox. AR Knox, like all um, Enox proteins, is blocked to terminal sequencing and resistant to protease proteases or other forms of digestion. So our only recourse is that of expression cloning. Aeronox was purified to uh, homogeneity from urine of an aged um, individual. We can see the bands here. When subject to uh, 2D gel electrophoresis, the isoelectric focusing, uh, we saw we saw a six to seven potential homologs um, in a relatively acidic uh, isoelectric iso point at pH 4.2 to 4.6. As is characteristic of Enox proteins in general, and, and there was a molecular weight range of between 30 and um, 30, 60 um, kilodaltons. Preliminary cloning results uh, indicate that the cloned um, Aeronox proteins are members of a superfamily of transmembrane proteins. They have um, uh, a nine membrane spanning domains in the C terminal uh, region. And uh, there is a free and terminal uh, fragment of about 30 kilodaltons exposed at the cell surface that corresponds to the shed and circulating forms of AR knots, proteins. And a, there's a cleavage site at the uh, just preceding the first membrane spanning domain. It is these N terminal fragments that were represented on the 2D gel of the previous slide. At least five homologs, those thus far identified, all have different N terminal sequences. So, in summary, the age-related Nox, AR Nox family of proteins are shed from the cell surface, and they circulate in body fluids to oxidize matrix proteins and circulating serum lipoproteins. Now, a, a prior, a two priorities of uh, Nox technology are to develop skincare products that inhibit AR Nox activity to ameliorate or reduce uh, skin aging, as well as to develop supplements to prevent or reduce low density lipoprotein oxidation in this um, circulation. Information on our efforts in conjunction with uh, New Skin Enterprise of Provo, Utah, to use AR Nox inhibition as a strategy to prevent skin aging is provided in the poster by Dale Kern. And you'll see that, you can see it this evening, and it'll be up the rest of the time we're here too. Progress in the development of the oral supplements to prevent or reduce low density level proteins. Oxidation will be the topic of a short presentation to be delivered by D. James Moray on Sunday afternoon. No, thank you.